At the New Hope Dairy in Gold, California, it looks at first glance like just another day on the farm. While some of the dairy's 1,200 cows are being milked, owners Arlen Van Leeuwen and Arlen Van Groningen visit the pens to check on the herd. Pretty much business as usual, except there's something happening here on the back end that gives special meaning to the New Hope name. Call it cow power. The other part of our dairy operation is dealing with our waste, our manure. We collect the manure as quickly as possible. Six times a day we scrape that up and collect it and pump it into this tank. That's about 30,000 gallons a day from the cows that we have on the, on the system. It sits in there for 30 days, it's agitated and heated and produces methane gas. The methane gas is bled off and feeds the uh, combined heat and power unit. That generates electricity that's sold to the grid and generates heat that we use to recirculate back into the uh, digester to keep it at the uh, correct temperature. The anaerobic digester at New Hope Dairy is an example of an accelerating trend in renewable energy production, fueled by advances in technology and partnerships between farmers, government, and energy providers. We had met some people from SMUD, Sacramento Municipal Utility District, the uh, utility here in Sacramento County. They really helped us develop a way um, that it would and could be successful on our dairy farm. At SMUD we have what's called a Dairy Digester Program. And the vision of this program is to find these resources, build partnerships between dairy owners, for instance, and the project developers, come up with grants, go after grants, and apply for these grants, and then uh, use these grants to help in the construction of these projects. There are a lot of benefits to these projects. One is that methane is a potent greenhouse gas, and it has uh, at least 21 times the global warming effect of carbon dioxide. So when we capture a ton of methane and turn it into electricity, we're preventing that from affecting the global climate. And in California, that's a valuable uh, offset that, that can be sold into the uh, greenhouse gas uh, trading program. That also generates additional revenues to help pay for the project. Another potential revenue stream for dairy farmers comes in the form of what's left at the very end of the digester process, a marketable composting material. We use a soil amendment on our farm, and then uh, our local uh, grape growers use it. But it will be some time before economies of scale make digesters financially viable for many dairies. For now, government grants and subsidies are crucial. The California Department of Food and Agriculture has received funding from the Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund to administer the Dairy Digester Research and Development Program. The CDFA program is pretty pivotal. Their program that they've just announced where they're soliciting proposals and they'll give some grant funding to uh, dairy digester projects uh, helps us put together a good financial model so we can go out and raise all the additional money that's needed to build a complete project. The future for dairy digesters in the state of California is in my estimation unlimited. People like New Hope Dairy have done a fabulous job. They're our pioneers. They are the ones that are willing to take this leap of faith, to be a part of the new energy economy and helping the state combat climate change and reduce greenhouse gases. I think the country needs a diversified uh, energy source. I think this is one piece of it, and uh, I just feel very good about being part of that. <laughs>